when we talk about frequencies, we also talk about uh, bandwidths. What is a bandwidth? Bandwidth is a frequency range. For example, it can start from say uh, 0 hertz to uh, 4000 hertz. And the bandwidth of this uh, band is basically 4000 minus 0. So the bandwidth itself is 4000 hertz. Now this may be uh, looked upon as the voice grade bandwidth because this is the this is the uh, bandwidth range uh, that is used in voice communication. Let us look at another example where we will calculate the bandwidth. Consider a medium such as uh, say uh, some type of uh, wire that connects point A and B. Now if we say that this wire can carry information uh, and the bandwidth at the lower end of this is uh, 300 megahertz and at the higher end of this is 700 megahertz then the bandwidth of this medium is basically 700 minus 300 which is 400 megahertz. In general we may assume that higher the bandwidth the better the communication properties. In other words you can communicate at a faster speed if you have a medium that has a higher bandwidth. Uh, this is known as uh, the Shannon's law where it says uh, the communication speed is proportional to bandwidth and there are other factors involved in this equation. Uh, one factor is the signal to noise ratio and so on. But in general that when we look at uh, different media that carries information, for example if you take copper and compare that with fiber cables, you will see that the bandwidth of copper cables are lower compared to the bandwidth of the fiber cables. That means you can transmit at a higher speed on the fiber cable. There are external factors that may also affect the bandwidth, for example in the case of the copper cables, the outside temperature and uh, nearby lines etc. All these uh, interfere with the uh, carrying capacity of the copper cable. So one must bear these things in mind. In the industry of course the word bandwidth is used to signify the uh, speed at which you can communicate. So if someone uses the word I'm using a high bandwidth connection that simply means that he or she is able to communicate at a fast speed. Uh, in the case of internet, uh, generally uh, people talk about high bandwidth such as DSL and so on. Now as we go further, we will also look at two different types of uh, transmission. That one is known as broadband and the other one is known as uh, baseband transmission. We will talk about these things later on. But for the time being, uh, the uh, meaning of the word bandwidth is uh, as follows. Uh, generally it shows the range of frequencies that can be used for transmission but in the industry when you use the word bandwidth it basically means the uh, speed at which you can uh, carry information along a certain uh, line or along a certain communication uh, uh, medium. Now that we have looked at bandwidth let's look at how technologies progress especially the communication technologies. Take for example the copper wire. For instance, uh, it has a bandwidth limitation. People will come up with technologies. Let's look at the Ethernet technology that comes with the, uh, in the case of the local area network. Uh, people will first uh, develop the Ethernet technology that op operates at a low speed. For example, the first one operated at a speed of 1 megabits per second. It was implemented on the copper line. Then they moved to 10 megabits per second. Uh, it was implemented on the copper line. When they moved to the 100 megabits per second first, uh, the bandwidth was a limitation. So the first implementation was done on fiber cables. The fiber cables offered uh, the uh, bandwidth to implement the 100 megabits per second. So when they moved from 10 to 100 megabits per second, uh, they were confronted by the uh, bandwidth limitation. 
but later on because fiber offered the bandwidth they were able to first start implementing 100 megabits per second now as the technology progressed they were able to uh, have better equipment and better uh, technologies in terms of the way the transmission was implemented they were able to bring back the 100 megabits per second transmission technology ba back to the copper so in terms of uh, development and progress of communication technologies they will first start with a low speed uh, low speed communication technology keep on improving the technology to reach higher speeds at one point uh, the medium will uh, give or place a restriction in, in the sense that a bandwidth limitation then the next logical step is to use a cable or a medium that such as fiber that gives uh, a higher bandwidth and start improving the speed then as the technology improves they will bring it back the implementation to the uh, uh, to the lower bandwidth medium uh, that is basically in the case of uh, communications it is between copper and fiber right now the 100 megabits per second can be implemented in uh, over copper wires likewise the 1 gigabit per second bits per second ethernet LAN this could also be implemented uh, on copper it, when it was first introduced it basically ran on fiber technology so there are two limiting factors basically one is the uh, bandwidth and the other one is the uh, is the technology uh, but when there is a bandwidth limitation that is imposed by the medium then of course uh, the industry uses uh, technology advanced technology to overcome this uh, so that uh, higher speeds can be brought over low bandwidth connections it is very important in the communication industry to bring high speed communication to copper wires because many infrastructure in organizations and companies etc uh, they are based on the copper wire many of these wirings are based on the copper wire only recently the companies are laying in fiber wires fiber connections but for the time being any technology to become widely acceptable and available in communications they should be brought down to the uh, copper wire in other words that technology should be uh, we should be able to implement that technology on copper wire